Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul for the Game Boy Advance. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're gonna go back to the campaign and... Oh great, it's a duel tournament. Ooh, Rare Hunter, eh? I can attain a rare card by winning this duel competition. I cannot afford to allow the likes of you to win here. Well, you got no choice, because I will win here. Well, the good news is, at least my opponent is a Tier 4 opponent. I mean, Tier 3. That way, I'll have a greater chance of completing Tier 3. Okay, we'll start by setting this. Ooh, Cannon Soldier. Yeah, that'll have to go back to your hand, thank you. Ooh, two face-down cards. Let's see... Um... Yeah, I think I'll set you. And play Giant Trunade. Actually, I think I should've saved that for later, but whatever. Alright, we're gonna play Pot of Greed. And those two face-down cards are back. That's okay, I play my own Pot of Greed. No, oh, I'll draw two cards. I don't know what that card is, so I'll play Change of Heart. Hmm, it was a Magician of Faith. Okay, then I'll take a spell card myself. And I'll make that Change of Heart again. Okay... Let's see... I think I'll use your Magician of Faith to attack directly. Ah, negate attack. Ah, oh, for a moment there, I thought that was Mirror Force. I don't think you'll be needing this anymore. So I'll sacrifice it to bring in Summon Skull. And I'll place these two cards face down. Ooh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh, there goes those trap cards. And now you know what my monster is. Unfortunately, I cannot attack Cannon Soldier. I can, however... Do I really want to destroy it now? I'll save it for later. It's gonna offer itself. Yeah, it'll cost me 500 life points, but whatever. Okay, I'll set this face down. Your move. Oh, another cannon soldier offering itself. Wow, you, you got some devout or emo cannon soldiers there, Rare Hunter. I'm not impressed. I'll end my turn again. Great. It's pretty much a stalemate. Uh, I'll flip summon Skalengel. So, one more card. Now, let's see what this monster is. Oh, there's the Mirror Force. Well, I got rid of it. That's good news. I need to draw something good that's gonna help me out to make sure Exodia is out of play. Right now I don't have that. Ooh, Delinquent Duo. This should help. Oh, Magic Jammer! Oh, great. Let me fix that up. Um, let's see, I'll play Stop Defense. Uh, this card. And then that was a Skalengel. Okay, then I'll summon Force Raider to the field and take it out. I had a Magic Jammer of all things. And my Magician of Faith is out of play. I mean, it's gone. It's 
it was destroyed. No wait, that, that was his Magician of Faith, never mind. I'll play Trap Hole. Take care of that Mystic Tomato. Those are like Sangin and Witch of the Black Forest. This could be trouble. But I might as well play Reggie now, since he has less than two car three cards in his hand. Okay, what were those monsters? Oh, two big eyes. Okay, I'll set this face down. And I will equip the Axe of Despair on Vorse Raider. There, now he has 2,900 attack points. Alright, attack directly. Okay. Let's see what he got. Ah, Sangin. Oh, that was the man eater bug. Of course, destroy Sangin. Pick out an Exodia piece, of course. But he doesn't even have five cards in his hand. And you got no monsters to protect you. You know what this means. Alright, I win the first duel of this match. Alright, let's see if I get a better hand for duel two. I am a member of Ghouls! In my Exodia deck! No! It can't be happening! It is not possible! Ghouls can seize any card, even a card that is so precious that there is only one in the entire universe. It looks as though I have a nice little souvenir to bring to Merrick today. <sighs> what, your fail? That would be a pretty neat souvenir for him. I'll deliver it by hand. Okay, cannon soldier right off the bat. Oh, not gonna offer it, okay. Okay, I'll play the spell card, Chain Energy. Okay, that seems like a legit card to play. Then I'll use Gravekeeper Servant. And let's see, I'll set this face down. Now, each time he attacks me, he has to lose one card. Of course, I'm gonna have to start attacking myself keeps doing this. Okay, I'll play the spell card Nobleman of Crossout. Take out this monster. And it was a Magician of Faith. Good thing mine was in my hand, so it's not destroyed. I bet you that's a Mirror Force, but that's usually the first trap they lay out. They lay it out as soon as they get it. The good news is, haha, <laughs> I didn't even summon this turn. Your move. Swords revealing light, damn it. Great. Well, at least he's losing life points as well. Uh, I'm not gonna use Robin Goblin yet. No point, I can't inflict damage. I'll set this face down. In my turn. And you're gonna offer it. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna set this in defense mode. And then I'll place Robin Goblin face down. There, now your sword's revealing light is gone. Uh, I think I will get rid of that with Trap Hole. My move. And I will flip summon Penguin Soldier. There. No, I, don't, I think that's the only one. Should have done that a Penguin Soldier himself, but whatever. Too late now. And I will activate the trap Robin Goblin. 
There. All I need, if I attack twice and they both connect, he loses two cards. <laughs> Negate attack. Damn. That takes care of that equation. Okay, that's all. I'll set this face down. And flip summon man eater bug to the field. Okay, it wasn't Sangin or Witch of the Black Forest. Attack directly, my three monsters. Okay, that was a spell card. And the next card is... That's a monster. And this card should be... I bet you it was a piece of Exodia. I bet you it was a piece of Exodia. Oh, actually, I actually got two pieces of Exodia sent to the graveyard. That's perfect. There, now it's open season on him. Yeah, whatever. That won't affect me in any way. I got this one. Okay, I attack directly. Do I want to activate that? Might as well get rid of that card. Just in case it could be something special. And for the win. Dominant victory, of course. Even though I lost a fair amount of life points. But most of that was from my own damage as a result of the uh, chain energy. Ooh, electric snake. And this card is sent from directly from your hand to the graveyard and you draw two cards. Painful choice. Select five cards from your deck and show them to your opponent. Your opponent must select one card to be added to your hand. Discard the remaining cards to the graveyard. Ooh, that could be a good card, but it's also very risky. That depends on your strategy. And I don't think I'll have enough time to have another duel. But I can update you on the records I have in Tier 3. Okay, three wins, three wins, four wins, three wins, three wins. So if I beat the other four at least one more time, I should get tier four unlocked. Stay tuned for the next part when I try to do that. Goodbye, everyone.